Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, August 21st, 2024. We're one month of astronomical summer left. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. The moon is back to third quarter in the morning sky only on Monday. The sun is still very active and aurora are being reported at unusual latitudes. So, interesting times. We get drought from, uh, I think, a week ago to this week. A little decrease in the front range, a little of this extreme drought nipped to the south away from Longmont, and a few other places decreased a little bit because we're getting a little more water and temperatures drop briefly. Nationwide, a little lessening in a few spots around Colorado. I didn't see much change nationwide. For smoke, let's put this in motion. And you can see Colorado is pretty much in the clear, bringing a little puff of smoke from the uh, Golden uh, Colorado area. I think it's Golden. Yeah, I think it's near Golden. Um, it didn't seem very large, but I smelled some this afternoon. Looking for rainfall over the last seven days. <coughs> One of the things I had to do is delay this uh, 12 hours to get the smoke model because it was broken otherwise. And now this gray down here is not dry this is lack missing data so there's problems with our national modeling and data feeds but northern front range right around long mountain spots got good amounts of rain and the plains really are two to three and four three to four out way out there yeah. climatology we'll watch this still for another month but it really is decreasing as june and july august Oh, September, I tried to stop. So you can see it's really decreasing now. Nation nationally, you just don't expect a lot more severe weather. Not impossible. Right there in the Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma corridor. And it's just a little bit around us. This is not a year that we had a lot of hail. Uh, last spring was so bad that I mean, 15 hailstorms, we had to get a new roof. This year just played out very differently. The actual severe weather chances, we uh, had right along the front range and out to the east. It, uh, in practicality, I think it was only more f to the east than Long I-25, but they included us. <coughs> for Thursday, this is more like what I expected for Wednesday. And then marginal to the west, with a lot of moisture out there, marginal to our northeast, and we just have general thunderstorms that can happen. Uh, pretty heavy rains are possible in Arizona, southern Utah, near Vegas. Not too close to Vegas, I guess. General thunderstorms with the front draped off to our northeast. Uh, heavy rains cover the Four Corners area on Thursday. The rest of the state can have some rain. For Friday, general thunderstorms for much of Colorado except the southeast. This is the quickest change in temperature and the first big drop in temperatures that you expect um, in months. So we're going from high expected down to 87 to 84 and low from 57 to 54. So no matter how bad is it is in the daytime, it's going to be refreshing in the morning. It's definitely going to be cool. We have good chances of rain in the first couple days here as the weekends. Over the weekend things dry out into Monday and then slowly the moisture increases uh, in next week. The water vapor satellite loop shows this plume of monsoonal flow bringing lots of rain to the desert southwest and four corners area and up here. Big thunderstorms Wednesday night up in Nebraska, South Dakota. <coughs> okay, let's put this in motion. So you can see we have big high pressure over uh, Oklahoma and North Texas and that's giving us this circulation from the Gulf and from the Pacific up across Arizona and Colorado. So that's our source of moisture. Trough passing on Tuesday, kind of things get disrupted and weakened. There's the high kind of reestablishing itself as another trough approaches. At least the high center is staying out to our southeast now. That's through the end of the month. A little trough right there at the end. Looking at temperatures, we, there's the afternoon thunderstorms, they blossom up with the moisture. The mornings are unusually, midday are unusually cool, then the thunderstorms fire right there. We got lots of heat in the background though. 
and it was cool coming in with moisture on the front. Thunderstorms pop, cool, thunderstorms pop. It stays a little cooler on Tuesday, Wednesday. When the heat kind of pulls up back in with the moisture to our south, the thunderstorms pop in that moisture and the heat is there. So by the end of the month, so like a little back door cool front comes in. The thunderstorms are still a possibility almost every day. Don't need to play this much because it really doesn't show much except there is above normal moisture in the west and Four Corners area. And even if it waxes and wanes a little bit, we do just remain above normal in uh, both temperatures and moisture. So a little front that seems to push through on Tuesday. 27th, 28th. But the moisture, if it even gets pushed away for a moment, by the 29th and 30th is back in force. So that's good. It gives us thunderstorm chances around. <coughs> Surface dew points, yeah. whenever you get the yellow-green boundary over us, that's a good, healthy amount of moisture. Yellow to orange would be a tremendous amount of moisture. Dark green to yellow, still a pretty good amount of moisture. So it never really changes. It kind of sloshes back and forth. Mountains get in the northwest get dry. On the front range and east of the divide, the moisture may get pushed away briefly, but it always comes back. This is through the 29th and into the 30th, really more 60s, mid 60 dew points by the end of the month. Very end of the month might be pretty stormy. <coughs> so let's take a look at these daily chances of thunderstorms. You see they kind of come and go. There's a batch going off the front range. There's our little drier into Sunday, Monday. But still, you see, there's still thunderstorms, even Monday. So, you know, not really ever out of the woods any of these afternoons. As Monday into Tuesday seems to be the driest. As into Wednesday, there's mountain thunderstorms. Thursday, the stuff starts to come back. And then Friday, yep, another batch of thunderstorms. And Saturday, more thunderstorms. So, yep. We can see that in the five-day future forecast, the Four Corners area getting a pretty good amount of moisture. Everything kind of stretched southwest to northeast with that jet stream flow. A few spots may miss, a few spots may hit. For the next 10 days, that's a lot of water in the mountains. Two to four inches of moisture across large parts of the mountains. And up here, a quarter inch, half inch, that'd be great. So. Expect things w wetter next week. In the short term, <coughs> cool down a little bit on Thursday with a cool front. A little more storminess on Thursday. Friday into Saturday, we are hot and starting to dry. Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday, the moisture leaves, but the temperatures kind of drop down. But throughout the entire seven-day period, we are above normal. Except maybe right here Thursday. That's it. This has been Chief Meryl Just John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.